Zam, live from work. <laughs> Don't tell nobody, it's like. But uh, on this episode of uh, T.I. and Tiny, I think it was episode six, his daughter finally decided to come out and admit that she have a boyfriend and all, you know, she 10. <laughs> and so the first thing, you know, T.I. get in fall the mode, I could feel like he uh, telling her like, oh no, you got a boyfriend, I not feeling that. And uh, so basically he go to telling about sex and you could tell she was like, what the hell is he talking about with sugar and all of this shit? Because she is still a kid, but you gotta do that because sex, it's everywhere. It's, fuck, sex probably on Dora by now. Yo Gabba Gabba, all of that. Yeah, sex is everywhere, whether it be subliminally or just right in front of you for you to see. But these days, kids can't even hide from sex, you know? And so, another thing, T.I. finds out that everybody but him knew that she had a damn boyfriend. And I know that that tripped him out because, uh, Damn, how all of y'all knew she had a boyfriend? Ain't nobody tell me. So I know how you felt like as a man because I like to know everything that's going on in my household, especially when, if I had a daughter. Hey, what you mean she got a, you know? And if, I was mad because why Tiny wouldn't just tell him that? Why would you hide that? I know the little girl probably need to feel comfortable with telling her stuff, but it's a way to do stuff. You know how like Bill Cosby used to do like on Bill Cosby, uh, yeah, I'm just watching the cameras to see what's going on and shit. On um, Bill Cosby, uh, Claire would have told him, you know, Theo uh, came to me and said he got his ear pierced or something. Don't say nothing, you know, and, you know, Bill will be a father and not flat out go say, Theo, what you doing with that, you know, blah, 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 that earring. And, but he wouldn't say that the mama told him he'll fuck around and be like, he was go, he'll go on both sides of a bit try to see his ear, you know, and mess with him like that, and that that way, it don't feel like, oh, my mom's just, like, betrayed in my, betrayed my trust, you know, so she could have went about that in a different way, you know, you know, T.I. was like, he told Tiny, it's your duty to report all of that, you know, as my wife, why wouldn't you, you know, you supposed to, but he was joking and stuff, but I know he was serious, like, why wouldn't you come tell me that, you know, and T.I. Mama is, you know, I saw her on now. She seen my little street, and ain't nothing wrong with that because people be from the street. Just because it's street don't mean it's bad, you know. But it do seem like every VH1 mother is like, street is a motherfucker, you know, like, T.I. Mama, Keisha Cole Mama, uh, Jim Jones Mama, and all of them, don't they seem like they the same character? Like, they go around picking rappers with, but whatever. <laughs> So she goes to Shekinah house. Y'all know how I feel about Shekinah. <laughs> and look what she, the first day come from her. A lot of 10-year-olds got boyfriends and all this shit. Me speaking from a man's standpoint, no. My little girl, when she 10, she ain't about to have no boyfriend. <laughs> That's just how I feel about it. Or she just going to sneak around and my wife going to know and tell me. And I'm going to still deny it. And in my eye, you ain't going to have no boyfriend. You might have one because I don't want you to just start hiding stuff from me. But I'm having a conversation with my invisible daughter. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just not having it. <laughs> I feel you, dig. So, anyway. And what the hell was happening with Shekana? She just, she, I don't know. It's just every time I see her, I get, like, I just don't see her. She be pissing me off on the show. So, anyway. Fucking um T.I., he goes over to DJ, I think her name is DJ. yeah, something like that. But she goes to, T.I. goes to the mama house and let her know. First thing this woman did, which I loved about the show, that woman strung into action. Hey, Deja, get in here. What? What's this new information, you know, I'm hearing about you got a boyfriend? What? You know, and she was like, yeah, <laughs> T.I. said the man named Jumanji. <laughs> that was funny when he was saying that. She was like, it's Jamar. And she was like, don't be defending his name. And then the mama said, uh, she said, dudes is going to be trying to holler at you. You got to find mama. And you know, that was funny and all. But right after that, after that joke, she sprung into like her motherly action. Like, all right, so 
you punished because your grades have been slipping. You've been worrying about that boy, you know. You punished, no iPad, iPod, all of that gadget stuff that, you know, kids have these days. She hurry up and grab that from it, and it was still parent. Like, you know, I love it, that. That's what a mother's supposed to do, toy. I mean, tiny. <laughs> Nigga call her toy. That's what you're supposed to do, toy, you know. Let them know. She, and in toy position, she probably would have had to do it another way, like, like, let's say after she told Tiny, I got a boyfriend, Tiny was supposed to be like, well, you know, well, in a week, you got to tell your daddy within a week, or I'm telling him, you know, since you don't want to be the snitch and stuff, you know, because with stepkids, you got to be like that, I know how that is, you got to be that kind of way, so you could have just laid that down, you know, don't sit up there and just totally hide something from the dude, you know, that ain't what's up, don't hide nothing from me, because then I'm going to feel like, well, that was kind of secrets you holding, you know, what, what, what's up with that? And as you can see, kids only hide secrets from disciplinarians and adults that they respect. She probably think Toy is her friend and, you know, all of that friend, mom, stepmom stuff and can't have that, man. You gotta, she got to respect you, you know, as kids, just off the back from being a kid, you did, you got to respect me, you know. Me hurry up, but anyway, I ain't got to hurry up. And what the fuck? And yeah, she did joke with her saying uh, she was hot and all that. Your girl, mama, that was funny, you did. Because I was like, what's, what the fuck you being good looking got to do with boys hollering at her? But another thing, she did look good. <laughs> Whatever, you did. But I like how she handled the situation as a woman, you know? God damn, that's how you're supposed to handle it. So then T.I., after Tiny told him that stuff about, you on the little girl, huh? but you ain't on them boys like that. And he do be like that. He's bad as sons now. But uh, so he decided to sit down with them and ask them how to, how they treat a woman. And they said respectful and stuff like that. Surprisingly, even King did. And he the bad one, you know. So <laughs> even he said that. So it was an all-in-all -all cool episode. Except Tiny, she, she be tripping. It's a lot of aspects that she be tripping on, but it's been, it was a cool episode. I think T.I. is funny, though. And his, uh, his, uh, the son said, he was at school and his pants fell down <laughs> while he was at, in the cafeteria. Now, I know that was embarrassing, dog, but he a kid, so it wasn't embarrassing, but I know it was funny, you <laughs> did. So that was a cool episode, more family stuff involved, you know, but sex, that's, T.I. could have handled that a little different, you know, with that sex, because you don't, sex is everywhere, you got to sit down and really explain to your kid, don't just be sitting up there with a quick expression on some sugar and all of this here, because she was confused, like, what the fuck is my daddy talking about sugar and this and all that, you got to sit down with these kids, because Man, sex is everywhere. Even commercials that have shit to do with nothing to do with nothing. It's about sex. Not going anywhere for a while. Grab a Snicker with a chick eating a Snicker. You want a Carl's Jr. burger? She eating a Snicker on top of a car naked with a swimsuit. That's what I know. Paris Hill naked eating a hamburger. You know what it all is here. But shit, man. It's been nice, y'all. Holla at me once again. Had to give y'all that T.I. review. I bet y'all like shit. Let this nigga been that on T.I. shit, but get at me, man. Rate, subscribe, follow, whatever all this is on, you know, you know how it is. Get at me. One.